My name's Jeff Makarevich, and welcome to Wine and Dine with Jeff, where I'll make a healthy dinner from start to finish and pair it with wines from around the world. Let's fill up that glass. Hi, I'm Jeff Makarevich and welcome to Wine and Dine with Jeff. Today we're doing sausage stuffed acorn squash, perfect for the fall. We're just getting in all of our squash and I'm pairing it today with this delicious Syrah. It is Evans Ranch from Santa Rita Hills, California. You will definitely fall in love with that. Let's get started here. I have two different types of squash. You could use whatever you want. I have right here on my left a green squash and right here this one is a courage acorn squash. Both are acorn squash. You can see they're, they range in different sizes. Uh, the most important thing for cutting the squash because we want to keep it intact. You want to be able to find a sturdy sturdy. This number one chef's tip is you want to make sure that the squash is sturdy so you're not cutting yourself and also an extremely sharp knife. I'm using a chef's knife. I'm just going to go through like and then you want to rock it like this and rock it. Keep on going down through and it should easily cut and a little tip too and see how perfect voila right on through so easy to do and a little tip to make it a little easier for you and a little trick is put this in the microwave for one minute it won't cook it i swear to you it won't but it'll soften the skin and make it easy for you to uh you know to cut through like i just did i find it just easy to get a knife come down through here and we want to remove all the strings and seeds and everything i call it removing the gunk <laughs> let's remove all that gunk all the seeds and everything so uh let me finish this up we just finished cleaning and cutting our acorn squash now let's just rub a little bit of butter on them because we are going to put them in the pan in the oven that is at 400 degrees we are rocking and rolling those things are they're shaking back and forth <laughs> so they're going to go at 400 degrees for about 50 minutes to an hour depending on the size of your acorn squash you want to make sure that they are definitely nice and tender you want them tender so we're just going to put a little salt and pepper on them right now. Now look at the difference between the colors of these. Now the one, the smaller one, which is the green acorn squash, and the other ones are the courage acorn squash. Now uh, that's why I, I love to use different ones. Now these will be done at different times because of the size, but that's okay. I'll pull the smaller ones out first. Now what I like to do is sprinkle a little bit of cinnamon on top. That's simple because a little bit of cinnamon because we're going to be digging the actual squash out and just leaving about a quarter of the squash in and filling it with our sausage filling that is going to be amazing. So a little bit of cinnamon. I just think cinnamon goes perfect. Oh, and a little bit of water at the bottom of the pan here so the acorn squash does not burn because we're roasting it at 400 degrees. So right into the oven here. And we'll check that in about 50 minutes. While the acorn squash is roasting in the oven, let's get work on our sausage and brown it up. Now, I found it in casings, so I want to take off the casings. I did it already. So it's just really simple. Just run your knife right down through. The casing peels off so easily. What I'm using here is a fennel chicken sausage. You could use any sausage that you like. I just think the flavors of fennel, and just you want to throw away that casing. I think the fennel 
flavors go great with it but if you're using Italian whatever you want to use you could use whatever you want to use let's turn on the burner here and uh, let's let that oil I have some olive oil heating up in the pan let's let that heat up and get our sausage in our oil is hot and let's get our sausage in there I like to just flatten out because I really do like to get a nice brown on one side before I start to flip it over and break it up into tiny little pieces that's what I like to do anyway you know I always say you do you and let's do a little salt and pepper remember if you're getting these pre flavored with like sausage or Italian a lot of them have uh, salt and pepper in them already so just be careful about that good little tip but I really do love the fennel sausage it just brings so much flavor with these acorn squash and to that I'm going to be adding some allspice here it's just wonderful flavors that go great they really go great with with the acorn squash and the fennel and the sage that we're going to be putting in and I have we have some nutmeg that we are going right on into so let's add some nutmeg just when you grind it like this it brings so much more flavor than already you know pre-ground nutmeg which I am not a fan of to be honest with you so there we go we got our nutmeg in and it's that simple so we're just gonna brown this up I got my trusty hammer <laughs> and I'm gonna be beating this up into a pulp so we'll let that brown up before I flip it and then hit it looks like we have our meat all browned up just took about six minutes you don't have to worry about cooking it all the way through yet because it's going to be continue cooking we're going to add some onions to the mix some garlic you know can't go without garlic i love my garlic some fresh garlic and a pear yes i love we're going to do a touch of sweetness so the pear is going in with some fresh sage and that sage with the sausage just goes perfect together it really does so let me spin this around so i can stir this all together and why i like adding the onions now because the onions will now release not only flavor to uh this sausage it will it will add some moisture so even if you did cook your sausage a little too long and overcook it slightly um, this way uh, the onions will start to release all their juices back into the sausage and we'll just let that cook now for probably about two to three minutes until all the onions become translucent and delicious well while that is going on I have to talk about this wine let me so you guys can take a look at it it is Evans Ranch and it has such delicious delicious flavors it's a Syrah Santa Rita Syrah and I actually had a chance to visit this winery it is such a, a beautiful beautiful place up there and it has aromas of black currants blackberries blueberries Uh, and with the taste of all those black fruit together with just a slight little bit of pepperness peppery it is really really good and and now I'm getting like a hint of tarragon on my back tongue this is an amazing Syrah you will definitely love Evans Ranch so we'll just let this finish cooking out here and I can smell those acorn squash cooking in the oven everything will come together at the same time our onions and everything have sweat out so let's turn off the heat on this and what we want to do now is add half the cheese I have some gyre cheese that I'm putting in right now the other half I'm keeping to put on top and we are going to add some sour cream to the mix 
It'll keep the moisture and the tang and uh, give it this an, a lovely, lovely flavor. So the heat is off now, just so you know. And we're just gonna mix all this through and keep this because I can smell that acorn squash in the oven. Oh my God, it smells so good. Now look at that. Just by adding that little bit of cheese and a touch, a touch of sour cream just gives it like a decadence and the creaminess without going over the top. And we are gonna pull out our acorn squash and then we're gonna get this all together. I just fork tested the acorn squash. They're ready to pull out. It was about 55 minutes. The fork should go easy in and out of the acorn squash without any resistance. Um, let's pull them out. It smells so good in here. Wow. Woo, delicious. Okay, now what we're gonna do, you just wanna let them rest uh, because they're too hot to touch right now. So let them cool down and what we're gonna do then is scoop out the center of them uh, and then we're gonna mix them with our sausage that we all have fried up already. So we're gonna mix that and we're gonna leave about a quarter of an inch uh, for the shell because we're gonna be putting it back in the shell. So we'll let that cool off and we'll scoop it out. Our last and easy step is just to combine that acorn butternut squash that we took out of the shell so we have room for our filling. So we want to have a little bit of combination of our acorn squash with our meat. Uh, I just like it that way. So every bite you sort of have a little bit of everything. So that is all combined. So our last and easy step, we're just gonna stuff these acorn squash with the filling. Be generous with them. Just like so. You'll do this for each one. And then I like to top it with a little bit of the Guire cheese. I'll keep stuffing here. What I'm gonna do when I'm done, I am gonna pop it in the oven at 375 degrees, just until the cheese melts. It won't take long, probably about, not any more than 15 minutes. And I can't wait to dig into these. So I'll keep stuffing and we'll see you in a few. Oh my gosh, this smells so delicious. <gasps> Wow, look at that, yum. I can't wait to dig into that. Before I dig in to the sausage stuff, acorn squash, I would first like to thank all my subscribers. And if you're not yet a subscriber, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of my recipes. And don't forget to like and share and ring that bell because I have a new recipe every Tuesday. But I can't wait any longer. I just can't. I'm ready to dig in. This, oh yes, look how juicy this is. Oh yes, come on. Okay, cheese, pull that string of cheese. Look, <laughs> now I don't know if I could eat that. <laughs> I'm going for it. Mmm. Wow. That is incredible. <laughs> so delicious. Thanks for stopping by Wine and Dine with Jeff. And we'll see you next week.